are the Greater Banquet Crystals feeling like it's worth it for players? This is something that I've seen a few places that has been discussed, and it's definitely something that I did raise in yesterday's video. I do bear in mind, this isn't really a, a compl I'm not complaining, because look, it's an RNG-based crystal. I think we all get it by now. But it does come a point where you have to say to yourself, is something worth it when it comes to getting involved, participating in it, especially if you feel like you're not getting anything of worth back from it. So case in point from yesterday is that I did kind of like talk about this in a video. Uh, I mean, here's a good example. 3,000 units spent at the point of, um, you know, I spent 6,000 units total for the video that I put out yesterday. But I did want to have a look at it as a point of view of, look, are you going to feel at loss with um, with this particular situation of opening these Greater Banquet Crystals based on your progression and your, your placement in the game? So arguably, if you look at these first 3,000 units I spent for 10 of the Greater Banquet Crystals, then you see like I've got like a 5-star Weapon X, I've already got that one. 6-star Nexus, cool, okay, that's nice. 10 Tier 2 Alphas, a uh, Tier 5 uh, Class Catalyst in... Um, what is it, uh, Mutant, and then uh, over to here, got 5,000 six-star shards and 10,000 five-star shards. If you spent 3,000 units on that and that's what you got back from it, you, you would probably feel quite disappointed. I've definitely seen mixed results from players, um, especially from what they've pick, uh, picked up. Uh, we're going to be doing some reactions to some uh, other players' kind of um, pickups. You know, a good example uh, on screen um, right now, six-star Awakening Gem. Great, you know, for someone like myself, uh, Paragon, you'll be like, that's pretty cool to pick up. Uh, the JJ picks up uh, from 20 out of 23. Some tier 6 basic, some 6 star signature stones, 5 star, I don't know what, the, that's a Cavalier Nexus, I don't know what the rest of them are, but they could have been some good things as well. This may have, like, you know, you're looking at these 10 here and going, okay, well, this is some things here, maybe these are the most spiciest things. Scrap, again, I have no idea why Scrap is in there, and it should be at least 10,000, um, uh, not 10,000, 500,000 plus. Uh, and, oh, sorry, the follow-up on that from Hellraiser was that Tier 5 Basic, um, I want to assume that's Tier 5 CC, Again, you know, that would disappoint people, especially because it looks like uh, Hellraiser level 60 might be a Paragon player. So we'll be looking at going like, well, this is a disappointment. And again, I'm probably there's probably people going out there, well, Rich, this is all about the milestones. And yes, that's the point of mentioning it in the video. If you did not have the extent of the banquet event from the milestone, right? The banquet event from a point of view of an alliance-based participation, right? You would feel disappointed by what you got from Greater Banquet Crystals. And especially when it comes to a unitary spend. Because sadly, the unitary unit spend, unitary spend, unit spend, uh, if you looked at a point of view of, right, well, if I got Paragon deals, uh, then you, you look at it and go like, right, well, what did I spend last year and kind of, what did I spend this year, sorry? I don't know, I spent um, 20, I think 20,000 units or something like that. Uh, or maybe it was like 18,000 units. I may have done 20 something or other, 21,000 units I maybe spent. And that's to get a multitude of deals because I want to get more tier 6 basics and 6 star, six star rank 4 materials. So you look at um, you know situations like this going, okay, we had to, you had to get like um, some of the lower deals first. So maybe you picked up the advanced summoner bundle, but mainly you focused on things like um, a bundle here for 2,000, an extra 2,000 here to get a 6 star feature, the 3,000, so that kind of puts you up to... You know, that could be like a 7,000 unit uh, territory, or you went a uh, different way with, with, with how you kind of like spent. Either way, uh, you'd be looking at it as going like, right, well, if I if I looked at Greater Banquet Crystals as what they got, what you got back for the units you spent, you might feel a bit disappointed. But as I said, this is the reason that once you've got milestones, it may be a good time to stop. And again, the reason for that is if you are not pushing, and I did mention this in the tip yesterday, if you're not pushing for a rank, you may want to stop. I've seen a few people say about this as well. I do agree with it. Because you look at your investment of units for what you get back. Now, for me, at the moment, I will be doing a further, I think it's, I'm going to buy a further 11 to make a 25 opening for, I think, Boxing Day or, or maybe even tomorrow and that may be my point to stop I was thinking about really pushing to grab units to then reinvest into this event But I'm thinking I may not do this. I still want to you know, maybe do 
12,000 units. But then there's a conflict in my mind of going like, look, well, the further you go, you do not know what you're going to get from those greater banquet crystals. So the further you go and the further you kind of like try and these, these crystals out, the more you could be disappointed because there's no milestones to uh, soften the blow. So I will finish off by getting the five star relic because, well, I need that five star relic because I don't have any relics of that kind of like um, rarity. But I may choose to stop. And that's just the thing I wanted to pass on for this particular video is the idea of, look, the value of units you spend to what you're getting back. And especially based on some of these drop rates, uh, where's the event spreadsheet guy that I did, uh, which is... Here, so we look at look at this. I've got to bring this back into shot correctly. There we go. So we've got to look at things like tier three alpha. For me as a Paragon player, I, I I want to see that. That's the kind of value I want to see. I don't personally need to see things like tier five. Well, not tier. I do need to see some sort of tier five basic. Just but but I can get that from other places in the game. I haven't done Cavalier. I haven't done Cavalier difficulty just yet. I haven't needed to. I've been all about grabbing the, and acquiring units. But there are a lot of things at like 6-star Awakening Gems, 6-star Signature Stones, 6-star Nexus Hero Crystals, kind of. Uh, Cavalier Nexus, maybe. Feature 6-star, again, maybe. I do not want to see Scrap for 9.98%. Like, what is that all about? Boggles the mind, really. Really boggles it. So there's a high possibility. And by the way, one thing that I'm very happy to see is 6-star Hero Crystal Shards being 25% versus five star hero crystal shards at eight percent that's very good it does every year kind of make me think about like you know progression based um types of banquet crystals i don't think command would ever do them that's the first thing so you know try let's be let's be hopeful trying to be hopeful with it but it does come to a point as i said the point of the video is to come to this particular revel i wouldn't say revelation because a lot of people do think this way uh, with it is a point of stopping yeah, it's contributing to it to get a decent rank. I get it. Same thing when it comes to alliances. There will be alliances that will be spending uh, for this and we'll be trying to get involved with it. Great. You know, I, I rate that. I really do. I want to get involved and help out my alliance as much as possible because that's, that's really important. But for my solo side of things, I was thinking about, as I said, 12,000 units, but it does come to a realistic point of stopping because if you have not got yourself any more milestones than softening the blow of a poor performing greater banquet crystal opening can really seal the deal when it comes to going do you know what i've had a bit of fun i've got to the milestone point i need to do that's great i've got enough that i feel i'll get a decent enough rank and maybe that 100k mark or maybe a bit more and yes you will get free banquet crystals throughout the month so, you know, towards the end of the month, you'll get some for free. So you'll get some from Calendars, which, by the way, is live at the moment in, uh, where is it, Tis the Season. So you'll get that. So come on, we're going to give us some free ones in any case. You'll have the Accolades uh, element of kind of joining it. So again, you'll get some free ones there. You've probably got some free ones in general. So you can have a little bit of fun with free Greater Banquet Crystals. But when it comes to the point of going, look, I'm not get I'm getting things like, uh, tier 2 alpha and I've got enough of the ISO 8 I'm getting that extra gold for some reason uh, and all the other stuff within this you and tier 4 tier 4 class catalysts and stuff that maybe isn't kind of interesting you at a paragon level maybe even thronebreaker like later thronebreaker players are looking at this kind of do you know what I, I don't I, even like again lower than that maybe kind of looking at it going like well look I, I'm not really getting the stuff that I've feel I should be getting, I'm getting scrap, why am I getting scrap, and asking questions of of that. So I think that's the that's it. That's the that's the point of the video. Um take it with a pin I'll take it with a pinch of salt. Take it with the RNG. And the, as I said, like I totally get it and I'm sure you get it as well. It's RNG based. Understood. But this is the point of going, if you're not getting anything extra that is going to propel your roster, anything extra with milestones that are guaranteed decent and better rewards than what you're getting, you may want to go, do you know what? I might want to stop with Greater Banquet Crystals because the results have not been in my favour and I'll save my units for another day. Again, it's down to you how you want to like do that. I just thought it was important to be a bit, a bit realistic and make a video like this just to kind of point out. It's fun, but you got to take the rough with the smooth if you want to get into um, any further 
But yeah, that's been a video. Thank you very much for watching. What are your thoughts on Greater Bank of Crystals? What has been your results so far with them? Put it in the comments section down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in a live stream very soon. I'm trying to look after my throat, which always uh, it just seems to be kind of lacking at the moment. It seems to be kind of like getting unwell. But uh, yeah, bugs, bugs around the UK. Lots of people getting unwell. But in any case, thanks very much for watching. Cheers, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.